The problem with road trips this summer is the cost of gas. No shit. I mean, if I could make it myself, and trust me, sometimes I do, I would be happy to use it. The problem yes. is I just can't. So now I gotta go spend how much on, on gasoline? It's I know. ridiculous. You know what I kept thinking of? What's that? Expensive petroleum! That sucks. <laughs> Welcome once again to the Rural Jer Brewery Tour. Well said. Hey, thanks. I'm Jay. I'm Seth. And today we've decided to take a road trip, but only in the sense that it doesn't cost us gasoline, because we are going to be drinking American Pale Ales. And we don't need our passport. Right. And we don't have to like cross to that other crazy country. Zip. Not saying another word. So yeah. today we will start with an authentic American Pale Ale brewed in Ontario. From London Brewing, previously known as the London Brewing Co-op, this is a 5% APA. Their APA, American right. Pale Ale. Right, and the Americans, as of course you know, decided that pale ales needed to be very hop forward and hop aggressive, as opposed to those in other places. Now, I have a question for you. You don't have to tell me. I'm smart enough no, to figure out a question. it's a question <clears throat> for context. Okay. Just don't tell me you're <clears throat> asking me a question. So just ask the question. If you have Montreal smoked meat in Montreal, it's just smoked meat. If right. you have American Pale Ale in America, is it just a pale ale? I don't think so. It's still an American Pale Ale. Well, they call it tuna fish, so redundancy is a good idea there. Well, it's not, yeah. And let's take a look at this. It's certainly pale, although not quite as pale as one might expect. It still has a golden hue to it. Almost like apple juice. Yeah, it's got a nice yellow color, a little bit of bubbles in the glass. Bubbly head. Nice head to it. Mm hmm You're not going to get peaks, Chan. I'm getting peaks. I think you're deluding yourself. I'm not deluding Much like myself. like that country to the south. Oh, so. What? You mean Mexico? <laughs> oh, not lots of hops. Sure, but not overwhelming on the nose for hops. I'm getting hops. I'm just not getting the aggressive punch you in the face kind of oh. style of hop I might expect from a country that tends to be aggressive about punching you in the face with its hops. It's true, but this is sort of, it's got a bit of a softer quality. It's more melon and, and things like that. It's not uh, not super dank and crazy like that. And once again, this is Canada. So if it is softer, it's because we have, we're a little more polite, sorry. Yeah, I was sorry. gonna say, it should say sorry somewhere. Sorry. Uh, bitterness right up front. A little bit of pear, a little bit of fruit. Lots of bitterness on the finish as well. Well, it increases thereafter, yeah, yeah. it's growing. Uh, the mm -hmm. hops are really nice and present, though. A little resiny and piney. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm getting a little bit of the melon in there as well. There's certainly, it's a nice balance for me anyways of the resin, the, the bitterness, and the, the, the melon softer quality. It's not, I don't get citrus. Ah, you don't get citrus on the tongue until you get the, um, the citrus zest. So think about the taste of citrus zest on, on that, and you'll find it in the finish there. That that increasing bitterness comes out and it re reminds me of certainly navel orange zest. Those are the oranges that go underwater. Well, yeah. Yeah. The ones that are submariners. That doesn't make as much of a joke as my navel orange one. Okay, I was just, but yeah, that's what you mean. That's why people are gazing at them, navel gazing. Gaze, not? Navel gazing. Nice to start off in London, but let's go real American this time. Real American? Real America! So we're gonna go to Sierra Nevada. Well, of course you are. Of course you are, down in Chico, California. Is that their actual location? Because I, I know they've got two different locations. They do. They have Chico, California and Mills River. Okay. Yes. Of course. Of course it's Mills River. Of course River. it's yeah. Mills River. <clears throat> yeah. So what are we drinking? Uh, so this is, their, this is their flagship. This is their pale ale. And because it's from America, they didn't have to say American pale ale. Well, it's just a pale. That was my point before. Okay. So a handcrafted ale, 5.6% strong beer. Well, you know how the Americans are with their beer. They yeah. think it's strong at 3%. Yeah. Family owned, operated, and argued over. As are so many things, right? It's so true. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, look at the bubblies. Mm. Look at the bubblies. That's really nice. And this is the same color as the last one. Oh, I, I would beg to argue on this. This one looks You don't have to beg to argue. You okay. can just argue. I'm just going to argue. It would be fun to watch you beg. Okay. I think you're wrong. This one is a lot more orange to me. You suck at begging. Yes, I know. But still very active in the glass. I would say this one might even be more active. Then say it. I, Don't tell them you would. Just do it. And it's just more active. And it's more orange. Thanks, buddy. I got more head than you. <laughs> Both time. Once again. 
Lots of citrus. Getting some straw on that nose. Not the kind that choked turtles, like the kind that you choked use. Choked turtles? Use, yeah, turtle choking straws. That's why you, why, why you go to restaurants now and they're made of paper and they dissolve into Those your drink. Those straws suck. They're terrible. They're the worst straws ever. They're the ever. worst. But I'm glad that I'm not killing a turtle with my plastic straw while I have my plastic cup and my plastic lid. A little maltier. A lot, yeah. A lot more malty. Or I could say a little. And I'm then you could agree it. with me, the yes and part of this. But you said a little and I'm going to say a lot. Right, so that's not yes and. <laughs> no, that's not. No, no, that's... No. You're saying a little, that's not enough. I'm going to correct you and say it's a lot. When in I'm reality, it's a, lot. it's a little bit of malt. It's a little maltier than the last one. Um, I'm still getting hops. I'm still getting bitter, but this is more approachable. Yeah, this one has a lot more bubbles. There's a lot more malt than this one to me. There's more citrus. There's a lot of pine. Yes. Yeah, this is a very nice and approachable beer. Yeah. You want something that has a little more aggression than, you, than your typical mm -hmm. American beer? This has got it. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a flavorful experience that doesn't overwhelm the senses. Yeah. Take a little trip down to the States, but really, you just want to come back after that. So, here we go. Here we back go. to Ontario with the Naughty Neighbor American Style Pale Ale. Oh, and this one has the, the, uh, the pinup girl on the can. No. Oh. No. We, we don't do that sort of can art anymore. Oh, why? Yes. Well, we've learned from our past. Instead, what we have is this American bald eagle wearing a motorcycle helmet surrounded by red and blue stars. The Naughty Neighbor American Style Pale Ale at 4.9%. And I love what it says here. It says, soaring notes of citrus and pine sparkle on a thirst-quenching malt backdrop. Our American style pale ale is daringly different, but fearlessly familiar. Stay reckless, be brave. Crushable citrus freedom. I got a very bubbly head. I've got a bit of nice. haze to that, and there's some flaked uh, wheat in this one, so that might account for it. A little bit it. of cloudiness. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Touch of cloudiness. Um, very frothy head on this one, and I know how you like it, so I'm going to say that those are peaks. You're getting peaks. <laughs> Lots of Like sickness. the peaks in the American mountains. You might call them Rockies, but they're America. Oh, citrus! Those are American oranges, like from Florida. Except these are from Canada. Freedom! <laughs> They're freedom oranges. Stay brave! Ah, oh, but lovely citrus nose on that, and we're drinking now, so we're gonna shut up. Yeah. Talk about we it. Should. Yeah. There is just a ton of citrus in here, a lot of bitterness. The bitterness just keeps going all the way through the taste and gets more prevalent as we get to the end. This is not, however, an East Coast uh, IPA. This is very much the the kind of quintessential oh, yeah. hot for you got citrus but there's no sweet and no. it's it's dry and it's piney and it's yes. resiny but the citrus sits there on top of all of that it's like a christmas tree topped with an orange if this is not juicy this just tastes this taste of citrus indeed and yes. bitter this gets much more bitter the more you drink it ah but i get more orange the more i drink it i mean not me i don't get more orange the taste of the orange gets more prevalent the more I drink of it. I may also get more orange. Actually, I tend to go red the more I drink it. Oh. We start in Ontario. We go down to the States. We go back up to Ontario just to try some American pale ales. Right. Or like the Americans call them, pale ales. Or like the French call them, freedom fries. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching the Rural Jura Brewery Tour. Well said. I'm Seth. I'm Jay. Check us out next time when we try some more beer. Probably not American beer. We'll see. Maybe. Make sure you like and subscribe below. And go to the website www.ruralgerabrewerytour.com so you can try out some other episodes. Isn't it www? No, there are only two W's. Well, actually one W. The previous one had no W in the book. He was an H. Right. He was an H. Yeah. We'll see you next time. Cheers. Actually, well, yeah. Some most of the mountains in the states are kind of flat like the Appalachians and stuff, but yeah. Appalachians.
That's right. No, you can't call them that. I did. No, well, you can't. Apple. If you're if you're from there, you can call them that. But if we're if we're not from there, we can't say that. Is that appropriation? I think so. I think it's appellation. <laughs> Appropriate lot. Never mind. Oh my gosh, was that was awful. Thank you so <laughs> yeah. much for that. Yeah. Please write a comment below. Say how bad that was. Compare it's... it to the most uncomfortable thing. Actually, respond with a story of the most uncomfortable thing you've ever experienced in your life. And then compare that to what you just <laughs> wrote. Guys. Crushable Citrus Freedom.